Again, brothers and sisters in Christ, still the June 10th, Wednesday, and it's 2.28. Now, I probably wouldn't have shared this video except for this. All right. She's talking about... Uh, all right, let me back up. The channel this is on is now called... Let me pull it down. Here, it's Hourly Watch. They used to call their self Rapture Awareness. This is the young couple. Let's see, Christine and... Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, the young man's name. Patrick? Anyway. Um, they watch for the Rapture. And give watch possible times and give a scripture every time and they're the ones they're always talking about the signs in the Sun and the moon and the stars okay well Genevieve um, received a word from Jesus and angel Gabriel um, Okay, here's the reason I felt impelled to share it. I've been singing. Oh, ignore that. It's my thing to get up. I woke up a while back and I couldn't go back to sleep. Okay. Um, I've been singing this song that I learned a long, long time ago. Some of you may know it. It's... um. The chorus is, I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. I sing it all the time. Well, then the other day I said, yes, Lord, I am planted by you, your the living water and I'm gonna suck up all the water I can okay now in this video at the 17 minute and 16 second mark she starts saying this I'm gonna play just this little bit <laughs> The Lord gives me a powerful experience and I find myself standing in heaven. And I am Yes, she says it was she went to sleep and normally you'd call this a dream, but she said it was so real she was like in heaven. Okay. There is just a sea of white, the body of Christ, wearing bright, white, shining linen, okay? And it was like a wedding was taking place. We were in heaven, and the setting was there was a beautiful beach, okay? And um, I, it was just, the rapture had already taken place. We weren't in the clouds. We were in heaven, okay? And... Um, and brothers and sisters, we're all standing there and we're all looking at the water. And there were white waves crashing out onto the, on, onto the seashore. And the whole body of Christ is, we're glorifying the Lord, we're celebrating. And I don't know what the meaning of this was, but we're looking at the water because we're waiting for Jesus to come and Jesus we knew that Jesus would be coming from the water so sure enough we're staring at the water with great anticipation and um and Jesus literally the there's a big white wave that comes crashing onto the seashore and Jesus emerges from that white wave and there was a great roar and there was just a rapturous rapturous joy and and Amen. just the feeling was amazing it was it was beyond amazing. I, I was there. I was there, brothers and sisters. And we were all cheering and glorifying the Lord and clapping hands. And he was walking towards us. And, um, and we were so happy to be in his presence. And 
Well, what the other thing I got, as the Lord emerged from the water, He emerged from this white wave that crashed onto the seashore. Well, Jesus is the water of life. Hallelujah. Amen. Whoever drinks from Him, from the water of life, will never thirst again. And the Lord gave me a revelation um, about him coming from this white wave or this from the ocean from the white wave that I don't know why brothers is but he has chosen me um, to be one of the those that are confirming on um, sharing possible possibly confirming sharing the possible confirmation because I don't know if June 21st is the rapture but um, I'm, okay, I'm gonna stop it there because that's what the uh, first part of the video is about how on May the 10th which was Mother's Day she got a dream or might have been a vision I, I'm not sure but she got a word from the Lord 40 days that's all she got 40 days I'm pretty sure she said that that's all that's all he said and then in the morning he she realized she said he I believe he said, this is your Mother's Day present to you, or something like that, that this is my gift to you. Um, you must think mothers or something. You know, there is, out of all the commandments that, he, that God gave Moses, and even, it is even, in the New Testament. I read it last night or the day before. Uh, Paul said, honor your father and your mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that your life will go well with you. So being a mother is a big deal to God. Anyway, 40 days from Mother's Day it's June 21st, and that is Father's Day. Okay, again, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Now, how, how, why do you think the president, whichever one it was, that made Mother's Day, I want to say Theodore Roosevelt, but anyway, and then another one made Father's Day the third Sunday. One is the second Sunday, and one is the third Sunday. Do you think that's a coincidence? You know they've been planning this New World Order for a long time, like since 1776. Anyway, Satan's had his plans a lot longer than that. But So, that's what I wanted to share, and that's why I decided I would share this, let you listen to it, you take it to the Lord, and there's also a dream of, or vision that has to do with a, a ship with 726 on it, which could be July 26. I mean, could be. The Lord, we are in the final end of the end days, brothers and sisters. The Lord told us to be found watching, not Oh, well, we know he's coming, so we're going to live our lives as we want, and we'll stay ready. Well, if, if, if you kind of have that attitude too much, you might not be ready. If you get off doing other things too much, okay? So, yeah, I wanted to tell y'all. going to make that video first but I didn't um where are we at on this nine minutes all right I think it was last night might have been my first night I took a day off but anyway I was reading no talking to the Lord about our armor putting on our armor and when I said the belt of truth I said truth I wonder how many people that actually put on say that I put on my how it's listed in the word 
which I was going to read, but you can go to Ephesians chapter 6, go to verse 12. That's where it says, Honor thy father and thy mother. That's in chapter 6, in the earlier version um, verses. That's, that's where I was reading that. And then at verse 12, it starts about put that our, and our war is not against flesh and blood. See, if somebody has hurt you, more likely than not, it's not the person. It's a demon affecting that person. Because that's why Paul said our war is not against flesh and blood. It's against the powers and principalities in the high places and in the heavenlies. So, okay, anyway, when you're putting on the belt of truth, as you're putting on each piece, you need to realize what that means. And you're saying, I'm, I am putting on truth. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to seek the truth. I'm going to live by the truth. And if I don't know, I'm going to pray to find the truth. It's a, These are all commitments. Yes, you're saved when you, you're born again. When you accept Jesus as your personal Savior. You are born again. You, the old man has passed away. Behold, the new has come doesn't mean you're perfect. It's not the same as the glorified body. You all know that. We struggle with our little sins that we have to get rid of. We struggle with accidentally saying something we shouldn't. Then we have to say, Lord, we're, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. How, does that hurt? Is that so hard that you can't do that? And I shall only speak to a few of on this channel, if you're even a subscriber. You, we need to repent, okay? Jesus told me repentance was imperative, okay? That was in one of the messages I got years ago. Okay, I can remember stuff from them, like when he told me, once saved, always saved, is a lie from the pit of hell. That's exactly how he said it. A lie from the pit of hell. Anyway, so when you put on your belt of truth, you realize you're committing to the truth. That you want the truth. You want to know the truth. Like... President Trump is not who you think he is. Do not put him on a pedestal and think he's wonderful. He's one of them. He's playing his part. He doesn't even have the power he pretends to have. He's a pretender to the faith. He is not a Christian. He's not. He's evil. And don't forget it. See, that's the truth. And if you believe otherwise, then you need to take it to the Father and ask Him. You see, anybody can say that's in the limelight and they have a goal in mind. I know I need to get friendly with the Christians because I need their vote. Long before they plan to run. And so at some interview, somewhere, he talks about when he was born again. And so that interview gets brought up when he starts running by the Republicans. Right? Some of you have said that, that he said he was born again. He's been asked, do you think you need to repent? I watched it. And he said, I, no, I don't think I need to repent. The man doesn't think he's done anything he needs to repent of. The Bible says, if a man says he does not sin, he is a liar. And the truth is not in him. Okay, that's enough about that subject. Okay, so I just wanted to bring that up. That 
that was something I talked to the Lord about the other night, last night or the night before. I can't remember. And I hope it doesn't bug you that I don't remember stuff all the time, but does it matter if it was last night or the night before or that I can't remember that young man's name? I just know they are on fire for the Lord and they do a lot for him and they are going to have high seats in heaven, if, if you can put it that way. Their rewards will be great. So I suggest you watch this video. They have put Genevieve's video on their channel because she is speaking about them. What the Lord has showed her about them. They didn't even know it. I mean, they didn't ask her to have a dream about them. You know what I mean. So I'm going to end this here. It's long enough. I'm going to try to keep videos shorter. That will help me and you. Okay. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over myself and my computer. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections so that we can stay together. See, I can't stay gone for long. I, you know, I get things when I'm talking to the Lord. When I have time to talk to the Lord, I get things. So, you know, I may not have a video for a day or two. That just means I'm talking to the Lord more, okay? And But I always read my comments and emails. I just want to make sure my relationship is secure and you need to do the same are you on Facebook too much are you on here too much you know how much do you need to know we know Jesus is coming we know the signs <laughs> they're so in your face they shut the whole world down. I mean it. It's just the signs are here. We need to be ready. So just know that if you don't know it. So many of these people, they, like I've, I really like listening to Yana De Noon and her female guest. She brings on someone of the know, in the know, that tells us things. Like I was telling you earlier, that one doctor, and then there was Celeste Salome, and they don't all have the faith we have. They don't have, Steve and Yana don't even believe in the rapture, it sounds like to me. But their other, their sources tell them things we might want to know, you see. So take the good and just leave off the part you don't agree with. We don't have to argue with them. They're clearly born again. And they'll find out. They will find out. If you feel led to take them on, you do so. Put in their comments. There is a rapture. If the Lord tells me to, I will. I sure will. Okay, that's enough. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.